Spicy MedTech here. The coronavirus has without a doubt changed our lives. It has taught us that even the smallest things could affect the world at a large scale. Businesses have closed down, hospitals are packed, and leaving our homes with a mask is a must for our safety. But amidst all this, reports of another deadly virus has re-emerged in the Jiangsu province in China. Reportedly infecting more than 60 people and already killing 7. This virus causes severe fever with thrombocytopenia syndrome disease, otherwise known as SFTS. This disease causes fatigue, vomiting, thrombocytopenia, and leukopenia, and this is all caused by a virus called the Banda virus, which belongs to the order of Bunya viruses. This virus is transmitted from the bite of the vector, a small arachnid called a tick. But even though this virus is tick-borne, some studies have not ruled out the possibility of human-to-human -human transmission through blood contact. SFTS along with COVID-19 belong to the top 10 priority diseases by the World Health Organization due to its highly transmissible nature and a fatality rate ranging from 12% to 30% in some areas. The difference between SFTS and COVID-19 is that SFTS is not new because back in 2009, there was an outbreak of this disease in central China. But despite the high fatality rate, SFTS is not a death sentence. Even without a cure or a vaccine, treatment through symptom management is possible. Like the coronavirus, prevention can be done through mindfulness, proper hygiene, and sanitation practices. Always stay safe, wear a mask, and thanks for watching. I'm gonna see